sketch the graph of y equals to sine 4x. So first we need to find the amplitude of the function. So the amplitude, let's write that, so find the amplitude. The amplitude is the number in front of of the sine or cosine function. So in this case that's 2, but technically that's supposed to be the absolute value of that number. Sometimes we, we can have negative values there, so the absolute value of the number in front of sine or cosine. So that's going to be the absolute value of 2, and that's equal to 2. So this is the amplitude. Okay. Next is find the period of the function. So find the period. Okay, so how do we find the period? There's a formula for period and the formula is 2 pi over absolute value of b. Okay, now what is b? Remember that the general form of, um, of sine or cosine function is this, y equals a sine b x minus c plus d. Okay, so that's the sort of the general or standard form of the function. So if this is the function that we have, then that means c is 0 and d is also 0. Okay. B is then 4 and then A is 2, right? So, so therefore in this case our B is 4, so we plug that in. So 2 pi over 4, because absolute value of 4 is 4. That's pi over 2, okay? That's the length of one period. So we can therefore take if we start from 0, 0 to pi over 2 will then give us one, uh, one period of the function. So we can have, okay, we can have uh, from 0 to pi over 2 as one period, okay? And then next is we will then divide the period, the interval, by 4, okay? So we're gonna, again, so divide the interval um, into four equal parts, okay? All right, okay. So how do we divide the interval into four equal parts? Well, first we divide pi over two by two Okay, so if I can visualize that, say this is 0, this is pi over 2, we want to divide that into 4 equal parts, right? So then we're, we're going to find the numbers here, we don't know yet. How do we do that? First, if we divide pi over 2 by 2, that will give us this number right here, okay? So let's do that. So let's divide pi over 2 by 2, that gives us pi over over 4 right and then to find um, the value here we're again gonna divide pi over 4 by 2 that gives us pi over 8 okay and the number here how do we find this this is just the average of pi over 4 and pi over 2 right so let's add pi over 4 and pi over 2 2 so pi over 4 plus pi over 2 that gives us 3 pi over 4 okay that's 3 pi over 4 All right, let's maybe you're confused how I got that number so we have pi over 4 and then we can write this as 2 pi over 4 right 1 half is 2 fourth so then that will give us 3 pi over 4, okay? So that's 
the sum of pi over 2 and pi over 4 but then we're gonna divide that by by 2 because that's the average so therefore this is 3 pi over 8 so now then our table is complete so so our four um oops i'm sorry so our four points are zero these are these are the crucial points that we need pi over four three pi over eight and then of course pi over two now it's time to sketch sketch the graph okay we're gonna use this okay start here so okay now look let's look at the amplitude of the function the amplitude is two that's sort of the height of the wave so this is one this is two this is negative one this is negative two now we know that sine starts at the origin at zero so we're gonna start our, our graph here so this corresponds to that zero right there and then the next point so let's actually let's put our points here so that's zero this is pi over eight pi over 8 this is pi over 4 3 pi over 8 and pi over 2 okay then the next point this will correspond the pi over 8 will be the highest point that will correspond to the highest point which is here this pi over 4 the next will go straight in the middle and then this one will correspond to the lowest point and then this one comes back here and all we need to do is connect the dots okay so that's gonna be like that something like that you just connect the, the points um, like this one so that's one cycle of 2 sine 4x again to summarize first we need to find the amplitude that's going to give us the maximum height of the wave then we need to find the period because the period will determine how long the graph will be how long one period will be and then next is we divide the interval into four equal parts this is our interval because the period is to uh, pi over 2 so that's 0 to pi over 2 we divide that into four equal parts that gives us 0 pi over 8 pi over 4 3 pi over 8 and pi over 2 and then after that we sketch the graph we start at 0 we know where the sine function starts it starts at the origin and then so the next the next point will then correspond to the height or the highest point and then back to the center then the next one will correspond to the lowest point and then back again and then just connect the dots and that's it